So if you're in Cape Girardeau, you can actually come here and get a driving tour of Rush Limbaugh. And where you come is 220 North Fountain. Now, if you look on the website, it's going to show 400 Broadway, which is over there on the corner. But that is no longer accurate. Very nice in there, very informative. And I'm looking forward to taking a little Rush Limbaugh tour. Come along, won't you? A little shout out to Adam the Woo, my favorite YouTuber. Adam the Woo. I'll be your ground about. Yes. Yes. So these are a lot of the Rush Limbaugh places, and we're going to go to several of them. Stay tuned. So I was up here gathering some information, and I want you to look out there. A big old boat is coming by. So I'm going to head back down here. I've got something to show you. We're going to do a Rush Limbaugh tour. If you don't like Rush, that's fine. I do. And I'm doing this tour for me, not for you. See, they're pushing barges. Well, that's a big boat. Look at how big that thing is. Wow. But you don't have to necessarily like things to learn, friends. So this building right here is going to be 102 North Main. This building right here. This was Rush Limbaugh's father and his grandfather's law practice was upstairs right here. And this, you can see, was overlooking mighty Mississippi. So he grew up when he would go to work with his father or his grandfather over the years. And his brother still lives here and still has a syndicated radio show. And he is an author. So I turn around and I'm coming back in the other direction and it's that building right there. So when you're coming through town, when you see the clock, the building with the white columns is where Rush's father and grandfather's law practice was. It says Kellerman Foundation there now. A lot of interesting architecture here. He said, relax, she's here all day. Police presence here is pretty wild, and that guy right there is begging, and the cops came by, and he, he kind of put his sign down to see if they were going to go, and they did. They just drove on. Having a bad hair day. There's something interesting down here. I don't know if it'll be open, but I want to see it. So this is the Centenary United Methodist Church. This is at 300 North Ellis Street. Rush attended this church as a kid and his mother sang in the choir here for many, many, many years. And she also attended this church until she passed away. And this church was built in 1906. Look at the cornerstone right there. So Rush Limbaugh attended this church. Yes, indeed he did. And look at those lightning rods up there. Pretty cool. You see a lot of things with this really rough stone here, this type of stone. Interesting. 
So friends, I am in Kingsway Barbershop in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. This barber chair, or this shoeshine chair, I should say, is the one that Rush Limbaugh used as a kid. And it is rumored that he would talk politics with the older folks that came in here, got their haircut, got their shoe shine, that sort of thing. So it most likely started right here. Isn't this incredible? This is the actual shoe shine stand that Rush Limbaugh used as a kid. He lived very close to here. And I just love this. And it used to be a college barbershop, then it was Varsity, and now it's Kingsway. And it was always a barbershop. The guy was very nice. He said that this has been a barbershop since way back. It was built by a barber, and it's always been. I just love the history, don't you? Thank you all so much. You bet you're Appreciate you. Too. Yes, sir. Tell history stories. Yeah. Mostly Elvis is what I generally do. But I was driving through Cape Girardeau and thought I would check check C. So <laughs> that's it. You will do that for no. the camera. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Sorry to interrupt you. Appreciate it, gentlemen. <laughs> yes, sir. So this is it, friends. This right here, it's 1125. This is where it happened at, friends. Rush Limbaugh would come here and work as a kid, and you could see the field house across the street. You go that way to go back downtown, and you can see the bridge out there in the distance, the new bridge. You can see the top of it. That's down on the Mississippi, the mighty Mississippi. But this is the place right here, 1125. Guys, very nice. So I'm going to turn around and we're going to show you where Rush's house was as opposed to the barbershop. So I'm going to whip it around. So there is the barbershop right there. Now we're going to drive to where Rush lived. That's always interesting to me. I know y'all have heard me talk about it. I talk about geographic forensics. When you're out filming or you're going to different places, that's why it's good. Look, watch my videos, that's great. But if you get a chance to go somewhere, go. Because it opens up the history of that particular person, time, place by putting your eyes on it. And that's amazing to me how much it opens it up. It actually shows you uh, where a person's thinking even. And I want you to look, there's Statue of Liberty. Liberty, 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 Liberty. We're gonna turn left right here. Lacey Street. Boy, could that motorcycle rider go any slower? I don't think so. So friends, this hospital right here, this is where Rush Limbaugh was born. And his birth house the home he lived in is not very far from here. So let's go over there and check that out. We'll come down here, turn left on Sunset. And he lived at 412 North Sunset. is this house right here. So this right here was Rush Limbaugh's childhood home. And his father was an attorney. I would have expected it to be a lot larger than this. But sometimes people that have money live modestly. That's okay. Still a nice home. And the where he was born is literally right there. So it was close. They got his mother to run out of here 
And she ran right up this sidewalk, turned right, ran into the hospital and had Rush. That's why she named him Rush, because she rushed to the hospital. Okay, just kidding. Rush Limbaugh right here, friends. He lived right here. I could not love history more than I do. I hope to find a picture of Rush here. We'll have to look and see. So this was the home that he lived in. Now, let's see where he went to high school. It's very close. Clearly no helmet law in this town or this state. You shouldn't have to need a law to wear a helmet riding a motorcycle out on the road because if you have a wreck, it is not going to go well. I can promise you that. It's just not that smart. It's kind of like what Seinfeld said about wearing a helmet when you're skydiving. If you jump out of an airplane and your parachute doesn't open, the helmet's now wearing you. So this is called Central Junior High now. Back in the day, it was Central High School. Rush Limbaugh went to high school here. He graduated in 1969. So he lived right over there. That was uh, the place of his birth. And I don't know if he lived there the whole time, but that's the only house that they tell you anything about related to Rush in this town. So can you imagine him going to school here? And you can see that there's a football field over here on the side, a little practice field. He played football, and I'll show you where that field is at in just a moment. Stay tuned. What's funny is I'm in Gerardo, Missouri, Cape Gerardo, and I got an email from Bo Snurdly. Remember, Rush's sidekicks were always named Snurdly. Hello, Snurdly. And I'll tell you one more thing about Rush's house right here. I had to stop back by and give you one more little, little tidbit. And that tidbit is that they say that his bedroom window was directly over, was that window right there. And when trick-or-treaters would come, he would throw water balloons on them. That was his bedroom. And he would chunk them down on the trick-or-treaters out there. <laughs> yep. The Statue of Liberty is interesting. Let's see what it says. Can we make it out? So I want to show you this. The barber shop, I'm, making, I'm backtracking just a little bit. The barber shop is here on my right, and that's Southeastern Missouri State University. The barber shop is right here by Paglia's Pizza. And what I wanted to show you was where Rush played football. High school football would have been at this stadium right here. So we're going to turn right. And this is the stadium. So he went to high school way over there, but back over here where the barbershop is, is where he would play football. And sadly, my batteries are dead on the glory or I would send the glory up I tried my best to figure out a way to charge even went to Best Buy to try to buy another charger and just could not pull it off so we will be denied that footage but Rush Limbaugh played football right here and if you want to hear something funny you see it says 1930 so this was here a long time ago. This opened in 1930. Imagine all the people that played here. Elvis bought his guitar from OK Hauk Piano Company. But what I was gonna tell you is if you wanna hear something interesting, a funny take on football, Watch Andy Griffiths or listen to Andy Griffiths stand up where he says, he tells you about what it was, was football. If you've never heard it, 
do yourself a favor finish this video always finish my videos and go and search for what it was was football if you want to laugh it is hilarious so I'm gonna cruise down here and cruise around see if I can get a little better look at the, the stadium yeah from here you can you can kind of see onto the field naturally there's always somebody there working in fact it looks like I may be able to pull up in there and just make a circle Guys up there doing a little wake. Very cool. This is a cool little place right here. Kind of hidden, kind of up in a valley. These guys are chunking footballs. Right out there, Rush Limbaugh playing football. Can you imagine? This right here is how you get good friends. You practice a whole bunch. Let's hike it. Hut, hut! He's practicing hiking the ball for a punter. Interesting. I love it. All right, got a couple more places. Stay tuned. I love the way an old school McDonald's looks. So this building right here, you see it says the Limbaugh Firm, attorneys at law. So, still attorneys. His brother, I think, is a practicing attorney on the top floor up there. And he is on North Kings Highway. He's still a practicing attorney. And he is also a nationally syndicated columnist, author, and continues the family practice of law right there. So, I showed you the building that was downtown. That was original. And it grew to this. So, the family has done well, to say the least. Now, we're going to go see where Rush got his start, the very first radio station. Stay tuned. So, friends, we are coming to the last spot on the Rush Limbaugh tour, and that is where he got his start in the radio business. And we are coming around this corner, and I would dare say, and I could be wrong, but we're going to, we're going to find out. I think it could be this building right here. This is 883. Let me see what it's saying the address is. It's saying the address is 901 South Kings Highway. But that building right there looks like a radio station, and it looks old school. Now, I know there's a radio station up there. But this looks like it could be a radio station. You know what? The other thing it looks like is it could be a veterinarian office <laughs> why I say that I don't know but I bet you when you look at it you're gonna think the same thing look looks like a veterinarian office so we're gonna cruise up here where it's saying that the radio station is but you know how it is when you're dealing with old buildings yeah it says 901 yeah, that's saying 901, but that may be 901 for this building up here. So, yeah, all of the, the mailboxes are down there. So this is where Rush Limbaugh got his start in radio. AGMO. Hmm. 
and we're gonna get out and look for just a second. Boy, there's antennas everywhere. This is a, a radio engineer's dream out here, or nightmare. But what I want you to see is, look at this old building with the Quonset hut and the antennas. But look at that Quonset hut. Now that's old school. But right up here, that's where L Rush Limbaugh got his start. And you can see there's a cable holding that tower up, even out in the middle of the parking lot. Now, what if somebody came over here and walked this, but they've got extra cables just in case something breaks. Look at how bent that is. Boy, you think it's not some tension on that stuff? Yeah, my bent. A lot of tension when that wind blows on that bad boy. It is tall. But this is it, friends. Rush Limbaugh got his start right here. Yes, indeed, he did. So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy, you subscribe. You give me a big thumbs up if you like the video and watch the Weekly Spa Guy, friends. Thank you.